Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you on how our client portal in Techmatics works. So from your Techmatics account, please head over to Sites and Funnels and then here on Client Portal. So we have two drop downs here, the dashboard, where you can see all the people you invited and all the people that's currently a user on your uh, Techmatics client portal. It includes all of your affiliates, um, people or students who have access to your courses, and also people who enrolled or sign up for your membership. And then here onto actions, we have three main things. Um, we can now generate magic, uh, a magic link. You can just click on generate and then look for the exact contact. If you can find a contact on those drop down, please head over to contacts and then add that user in as a new contact. So let me just go back to client portal quick dashboard. Yep. So yeah, you can just click on generate, choose the contact and it will automatically send them an email for that exact uh, magic link. So magic link works as a basically a magic link. Uh, the user will not be, uh, won't have to manually log into their account. We will just automatically redirect them to the exact page without logging in. And then we have an option to also invite people to sign up for the portal. You can just click on invite, do the same thing, and it will automatically send them an email. And then you can also resend uh, the login email to your uh, students or clients through this third option right here. So for the meantime, we don't actually have the option to customize all the emails going out from client portal, but usually this is how the emails from client portal looks like. Hang on, I might need to stop my share screen first. And here we go. So this is how the emails are going out from the uh, client portal. For the meantime, we don't have the option to customize this yet but we're still working on getting more updates, getting more enhancements to our feature. So we'll do an announcement once that's available. And then aside from that, we also have a client portal up, which is currently under development, but we will also create an announcement for that once it's ready. And then here on settings, this is actually the fun part because this is basically where you're going to create your client portal. So we have a domain set up here. You can either just use this exact scribble right here as your client portal link, but you can definitely like add a customized uh, custom domain into like, your client portal. So to do that, you need to create a C name or either an A record to your uh, domains. If you're not sure how to do this one, please book a call with me so I can help you set it up. But yeah, so basically this is the link for our portal. Let me just maybe preview it so you can see how it looks like. Let me just drop it over here. Um, yeah, it's still thinking, but let's see. Okay, so this is how the client portal works. So the client portal actually has three main features included in. So basically, it's a one-stop shop for everything. So the very first one where you can see is our communities tab. And then here on the left-hand side, they have the option to switch from one community to another, but we also have an option to disable it so it won't show into the switcher. So some of the people will not, uh, like, you know, will have the access to uh, just basically join. If you, if you want to just, like, you know, keep that exact communities private. On this community tab, we have, like, three different things. We have learning, where you can add in, like, free courses, uh, paid courses and stuff like that and then people where you can see all the people that's currently a member in your communities and then the great thing about it let's have for example uh maybe let's have nat okay this one um it doesn't have anything here let me just try to check on the other one this one ah it doesn't have anything here but usually it will show up their uh social sites their emails, what are the contributions to the uh, for the communities and stuff like that. But your users also have the option to minimize or not like show their phone numbers or emails if they want to have privacy for that. So yeah, so the three main features um, for our um, client portal is first is community. And when you click on this nine dots on the right hand side, you can see that we also have courses. And we also have affiliates. So if you're running affiliates inside Techmatics, if you don't know how to do that, we have a tutorial on our YouTube channel on how to create an affiliate inside Techmatics. 
And if you don't, uh, if you're quite unsure how to do it, just pick a call with me and I can jump on with you. So I don't have any statistics or data for our um, affiliate, but essentially this is how it looks like. Um, all of your affiliates will show here, all of your statistics and stuff like that. Uh, your leads and customer will go in this tab. Your commission, total commission will show here. And then we actually have an option to add in a media. So if you want your affiliate to market your um, your product or your, like, you know, anything that you offer, um, you can add in all the media files that you want them to use in order for them to market your products. So, yeah, so how cool is it? So, uh, so that's basically affiliate. And then here on, our, on the last part, we have courses. So basically courses is where all of the courses that your student will have access to goes. So yeah. So under all courses, we have all of the courses, including all the upsell. This locked icon is actually upsell. If you want to learn more on how to create a course upsell into your Techmatics uh, courses, uh, we have a tutorial on how to do that, and you can still like book a call with me if you're quite unsure. And then they have the option to toggle to my courses if they don't want to do the upsell, and they just want to see all of the courses they have access to. So yeah, so that's how it looks like. And then yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I actually want to like put emphasis with the communities because I want to show you how this one works. Uh, let me just head over to the main so setup first. Uh, yeah, let's leave the communities for now. I'm going to show you something. Uh, another thing that I forgot is the branding. This is where you're going to customize how your client portal looks like. So for example, for Techmatics, our site is portal .com, right? So let me just head into incognito so you can see how our sign-up page looks like or our sign-in page. So our sign uh, sign in page for Techmatics portal is pretty much customized. This is how it looks like. Uh, this is the cover image. This is the icon, or I mean uh, the logo, and this is the Fabicon on top. So you can do that under the client portal branding. I'll show you where to find it in a bit. And then all the branding colors can also be included. Let me just close this one down. Let me just go back here. So yeah, so just put in all of your branding here, your Fabicon, your portal image, and your logo, and then put your support email in here so people can contact you whenever you have trouble logging in. And then, yeah, so that's basically it. So that's how you're going to customize your client portal. And then let me head over to courses and membership because I'll show you all the cool stuff we have under communities. Let me just go to settings. You can definitely like add a different, uh, I mean, you can definitely still use the same um, domain that you got in client portal and communities because it's basically on the same section. So if you already have set up the domain under client portal, just leave it as is. So let's hop into groups. So for our groups, you actually have the option to put it on as inactive if you don't want to keep that group and you just want it to be gone. And on top right, you have the option to filter all the groups showing up. Uh, for example, all the active groups, if you want it to show up, just toggle on active. If you want to show all the inactive group, just toggle on inactive. But let's just switch on to active. And then this is where you're going to create your group. So these are actually like basic things. Just chuck in all of your personal information or all of the customization you want to show up for your communities. And let me just show you the communities, like the actual communities. It's actually in here, but I'm just going to like preview it into the actual page. Um, let's just wait for that one to load. Yep. So this is how our Techmatics communities looks like. You can definitely like add multiple channels here. Let me just move this over. Multiple channels by clicking on add channel, put in your channel, and then people can like um, communicate or interact with like creating posts onto your, um, onto your communities. And they can definitely choose whatever channel they want to put in their post and every every uh, contribution will also show up under home yep and for the main thing we actually have three buttons here for the learning let's have for example if you want to have or if you want to uh if you want your people or you want those clients who are currently in the communities to have an easy access to the courses you can just add your courses here 
Uh, but the main thing is you need to be the owner of the communities in order for you to do it. So I'll show you how to know if you're the owner or if you're a com uh, contributor, if you're, if you're, or if you're an admin of the communities. I'll show it. I'll show you that one in a bit. So click on Add Courses in this drop down. This is where you're going to choose whatever courses you want to put in. Let's say, for example, I want to add in this Friday offer. And then for now, as you can see, we are actually not allowed to touch the course access because this is currently in development. Um, eventually, we now have the option to add in paid courses into the learning tab. But as of the moment, we can only give out um, all the courses with the free access. And then, um, but if you have all of your courses in here that is actually paid, you can set it as free for your community members. Yep. And as a suggestion for those people who maybe uh, want to advertise their paid courses into the communities, for the meantime, you can create a channel for that, put in all the links so they can sign up. So yeah, let me just go back to your learning. Let me just choose whatever course here so you can see how it looks like. Um, free add course. Yep. And let me just add, maybe I'll add three. Uh, maybe yep, let's not do the clone this one. And then last one, let me just choose it. Um, maybe this one, our courses. And that's it. So your student can now see all of these courses onto the learning tab when they sign in to their communities. So yeah. And then lastly, the people where you can see all the people that uh, that is currently a member on your communities. And uh, this is actually how you can see if the if the user is the member, the owner, or the admin, or the contributor. So um, on Roll, you can see that I'm the owner. You can definitely invite people in. For example, if you want to people, people to invite to the communities, you can just type in their name and their email. And then you have the option to put them uh, as an admin or just a user. Or you can just click on invitation link. Copy this link and send it over to your clients who you want to uh, like, you know, invite to your communities through a um, invitation link. Let me just close it one down. So if you're asking, how can I maybe customize what I can see onto the communities? We actually have a gear icon here on the top right where you can click. And then from here, you can see all of the details of your communities. So your communities can be set as public, private, and this one, accessible from Suture. What this means, because usually people get confused about it. If you don't want your communities to be showing up and people try to switch communities, you need to toggle this on so it won't be visible. And then, yeah, so these are the options. You can put it in uh, public and also put it on private. And you need to name your, uh, uh, your communities. This is the link for the community group. I'll show you how that one looks like in a bit. And then let's head over to subscription. Our communities are now allowed to take on payments. So you can either have your community for free if that's what you prefer, but you can also do it for a subscription. So let me just edit this. And then you can see you can put in your tab, uh, the pricing, how you want it to be. You can actually have give like, um, you can only collect, uh, I mean, sorry for that. You can collect one-time payment and you can also collect recurring payment. For recurring payment, these are the options you got. You can actually, uh, you can collect payments monthly or annually. And then this is currently in test mode. Let me just turn it off. And then that's it. So that's how you put in like pricing for your membership. I mean, for your communities. And then for the branding, if you want to re-edit whatever you've done to the setup, you can also do it here. And then finally, links, you can add in your promotional links in here. For Techmatics, we put usually put in our sign-up link for a free 14-day trial. So let me just close this one down. And I think that's basically it for the client portal. Uh, let me just try to see if what are the things that I can do. Request is active. So yeah, you can also filter all of your contacts. So yeah, I think that's basically it for the client portal. For those people who are not sure on what to do with all of this stuff, please book a call with me. You can hop onto www.techmatics.com. Let me just do that in a bit. Uh, yep. Go to book a call and then you can book a call with 
um, yeah, you need to scroll down, click on 15 minute support call, click booking, uh, book support call. And then if you're with the same time zone as me currently in Perth or, um, Singapore time zone, you can click on this drop down, choose me as a team member. Or if you're on the U.S. time zone, you can choose Chelsea to jump on with you. So yeah, thank you for um, watching this video. If you have any suggestions on what tutorial videos we should do next, please put it in the comment box so we can start working on it. Thank you so much.